Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, we're doing a hands-on review on Lenovo's Yoga Book. Uh, the last hands-on review that I did with you guys was the Windows version. This one is the Android version, which is the version that I like the most. And the reason why is because the Android operating system has a lot of cool features that takes advantage of the Halo keyboard and the real pen. So uh, let's get down to the review. All right, guys, so Android versus Windows when it comes down to Lenovo's Yoga Book. Which one is better? And I'm gonna tell you the truth. My opinion is the Android version, and the reason why is because one, the price is about $100 cheaper. Retail price is about $499. Uh, it comes with an awesome user interface, taskbar, and notification customization, which is what we have seen with Android tablets, which is awesome. Uh, it supports multi-window support, which allows you to have multiple windows open. That is awesome, which I'm gonna show you guys pretty soon. Uh, Lenovo has this cool app called the Note Saver, which also utilizes uh, the keyboard and the real pen, which I'm gonna go over that stuff pretty soon with you guys. And one awesome cool thing that I like about this that the Windows version cannot do is you're able to turn off the device and use it. Yes, you, you're actually able to digitize while the screen is off. On the Windows version, you actually have to have the screen on to actually use the keyboard and use the, the notepad, which kind of sucks. On the Android version, you can actually turn off the screen, which I'm gonna show you guys, and use it. So that means you can actually do full tablet mode, uh, have the screen off, and write, take notes, which is awesome. Now, one of the cool features that I like about the Android version is that this guy comes with this cool app called the Touch Pal. And the touch power is basically software that kind of word predicts what you're typing and it helps you to auto complete it and auto correct it while you're typing, which is awesome. The Windows version has their, you know, kind of version, but it doesn't work as well as the touch power because you actually have settings within the Android version that you can customize it the way that you want it to help you out when you're typing or, you know, using the real pen. So some of the Android custom interfaces, and there's four of them. And this is the reason why I love this tablet as a Android version. One, you have the awesome notification pull down, which we kind of see this within Android devices, which is cool. Two, you have the awesome settings and device info information right here, which tells you if you're connected to your Wi-Fi, your battery life, and the time. The third one is this awesome shift back home and open apps icon, which is kind of familiar to us Android users. Uh, this little grid right here allows you to open up all your apps. Uh, this one right here will show you all the apps that are open. This one will take you to home, and if you have multiple apps open at the same time, this will actually take you back and forth which is pretty cool. And the last one, which is pretty new with the Android environment, and it takes advantage of the Halo keyboard, and it's this guy right here. Uh, this little button actually allows you to toggle between the Halo keyboard and the Create Pad digitizing layer. So if you click on it, you automatically see like the keyboard will kind of turn off, and you would get this awesome note uh, saver app that Lenovo provided within the Android operating system, which is cool. Android is not really known for multitasking abilities, which I'm super surprised that Lenovo actually built that feature within uh, the Yoga Book and especially taking advantage of all the rich uh, features within the Android 6.0. Uh, they actually allow you to do multiple window support, which is cool. So I'm actually going to open up uh, Chrome. And if I open up the YouTube app, it's kind of, it's going to go this way. It's going to actually open up like really floaty, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the problem is, is if you want to like have that app still running while you're surfing the internet, uh, there's like a nice little pin at the upper corner. If you click on it, it pins the app and then you're able to still surf while watching videos, which is awesome. This feature is actually seen within the Windows 10, but the way that the Android utilizes it, I think it's just much better and it's much smoother. Now, not all apps within the Android environment will kind of do multi-window. So some of them that I have been testing out, like such as the YouTube app and Chrome, uh, Gmail, those are the ones that are really known to take advantage of the Windows uh, multi-window support. Uh, but again, I'm gonna start playing around with a little bit more and see what else they have. 
But this feature, I'm loving it because you're able to move it. You're even able to like snap it on top and it pops it up. And then you get a nice little uh, tool tip right here that says just double tap it. If you double tap on that little bar, let's double tap it. There it goes. And then you're able to float it now. Closing it is pretty cool. So all you gotta do is just drag it and drop it and it closes it and that's that's pretty cool. Now, one of the coolest app that the Android version of the Yoga Book has is the Lenovo's Note Saver app. And it's really easy to find it. All you have to do is just click on this little guy right here and it will turn on. That's one way. If you click on it again, it goes away. The second way to actually open up that app is you have a nice little pen on the keyboard. Uh, if you press on it, it's not gonna work. So you actually have to press and hold it. The keyboard itself is going to vibrate. And if you let go, the keyboard actually turns off and then you got the nice little Lenovo uh, app on the right corner, which is awesome. So you normally take your pen and within your pen, you start taking notes. Hello world. Look at that. That's awesome. And then from here, you're able to just click on the plus with the plus. It creates a new page and you can just start writing right away. It doesn't really matter where within the, the keyboard you start typing or writing but it, it will automatically start writing right, right away. So right now I'm writing right here in the corner. I can even go to the other corner and it will go right, right there in that corner, which is awesome. I can even go right in the middle, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so you're probably saying to yourself, where are these notes going to? How can I save it? Uh, it's pretty simple uh, to save it. And the, the way that you save it is as soon as you close the app, uh, that you're gonna get a pop-up to say, do you wanna save it? So let's close it up. And the way that you can close it up is either two ways. You can either use the touch screen button or you can use the keyboard. I like using the keyboard. And there you go, Lenovo Note Saver. Uh, your notes have been automatically saved to Lenovo's Note Saver. Would you like to see them now? Which is pretty cool. So it automatically saves them for you. So if you click on yes, uh, it's gonna open up and uh, it's gonna give you some nice instructions. I'm gonna close that up. And these are all the ones that we did together, Hello World, uh, the nice little smiley face that we did, the little scribbles and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. This is a cool app to have. Uh, Windows version does have something like that, but it's like the Windows Workspace Inc. It doesn't really do that well, but I'm, I really love the way that uh, the Lenovo Note Saver app works. Okay, so one of the coolest features that I love, and I'm geeking out right now, and it's the, the taking notes with the screen off with the Android version. You can't do this on the Windows version. So uh, we're going to do that. So I'm going to switch the pen. Yes, and I did learn my lesson, guys. So we could use the cap, and we're gonna stick it in, and we're gonna just, just bend it a little bit, and then we're gonna pull it. Now, there you go. Got it. I did learn my lesson, all right? For those that uh, left comments on the last video, I did learn my lesson. We're gonna push down, we got the pen version, and I'm gonna put the cap, there you go. And the way that you start is this. So what you wanna do is we want to start the Lenovo's Note Saver app. So I'm going to click on the keyboard right here on the little guy, let go, it starts up with no problem. And the next thing that you want to do is, again, the Windows version is same, same ports, same everything. On the side right here, if you're looking at, if you're facing the keyboard, on your right hand side, there's the power button or sleep button. All you're gonna do is just turn it off or put it to sleep, you're not really powering it off. You're gonna bend it into a tablet mode and you're gonna take your pad and we're just gonna snap it right there, right? And we're gonna start writing. So I'm gonna start writing right now. Again, it's off, it's completely off. So let's uh, say hello, hello world. Welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, BTNHD. All right, let's make a little, little face right there, some ears. I'm just going crazy. I'm geeking out right now. A little stick fear, good guy with some fingers, right? There you go. And let me just sign it. Bam. Awesome. So if everything works well, that stuff that we just written now should be digitized with the screen off. The screen is completely off. So what we're gonna do now is gonna open it up into like laptop mode. I like to call this laptop mode because it does look like a laptop mode. We're gonna take the notepad out of the way and we're going to press the power button 
we're gonna wake it up and uh, there goes our notes awesome so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate the halo keyboard and the way that you activate the halo keyboard again when you activate the halo keyboard the app is gonna say do you want to see your you know your saved notes sure so let's click on that it's gonna vibrate let's uh, see them now and there it goes hello world that's pretty cool so let me just put it this way so you guys can see hello world welcome to my YouTube channel BTN HD little little guy with the big ears and my signature so one of the coolest features with the Android version of the yoga book is this I love this I love this a lot again I'm gonna continue geeking out and the reason why I'm geeking out is because uh, this guy has so many things uh, under the hood that will kind of benefit the halo keyboard and the real pen uh, one of the cool things that you can actually go inside and tweak is if you go inside settings and within settings you have let's go all the way down you have any pen which it's kind of weird because with the status pen you can't really use it like I can't use it so you have to turn in the any pen uh, feature and then once you turn that on then you're able to use the real pen status and just do things with it which is pretty cool the best thing about the any pen is that you could use any conductive object uh, as your status which is awesome uh, another cool thing is the halo keyboard now on the windows version when i showed you guys it was very limited uh, you were only able to control the vibration and the brightness within the android version there's a lot of settings you got brightness adjustment sleep touch tone, vibrate on key press, vibration intensity, typing speed, keyboard sensitivity, clear history. You have more options within the Android operating system. And this is one of the reasons why I continue telling you guys that I'd rather go with the Android version. Don't get me wrong, it's $100 cheaper, but it just, it packs more features to customize it the way that you want it uh, for your day-to-day -day work life. Now, one of the things that I bashed a lot with my Windows version of review that I did for you guys was this little area right here that controls the mouse. Uh, I didn't get the same experience with the Android version and it was very responsive. Uh, I didn't see any delays. It was right on. When I clicked on something, it opened up. Uh, it's not, it's not kind of, it's not one of those things, uh, it's speed. You know, again, both Windows and Android of this tablet has the same specs, you know, same memory, same processor, same graphics processor. But for some reason, the mouse is right on. It's very responsive. I had no problems uh, clicking, dragging, doing stuff that I needed to do, uh, which is which is awesome, which is one of the things that I liked a lot. Uh, I'm still trying to get a hold of like clicking and dragging with this trackpad but other than that uh, it was very responsive it's not like the Windows version when I did the review for you guys it was really like it stopped and froze on me and it took some time for it to like kickstart itself and start working again but um, dead on man Android version is the way to go so that's awesome all right guys so that's my hands-on review on Lenovo's yoga book the Android version again this guy has the same specs as the Windows version. The only difference is, is that the operating system. This guy comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It's still running an Intel Atom X5 processor. Uh, the graphics processor is an Intel HD 400, I believe, 64 gigs, and you could upgrade it with a micro SD to 128 gigs. Uh, four gigs of memory. You have that beautiful 10.1 Full HD IPS display it's the same specs as the windows version the only difference is it's a hundred dollars cheaper uh operating system and then the third one which is the best one it has some awesome awesome features within the android environment that you could take advantage with the halo keyboard and the real pen so it's really up to you my two cents is i would definitely get the android version right but uh, again, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this hands-on review. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next hands-on review. Peace out.